Lorraine Glessner began working with encaustic in graduate school. She had become intrigued with the physical process of staining and marking as it relates to life cycles and wondered how she could use her canvas to represent both the body and the surface of the earth. In an attempt to find materials in a medium that related directly to her content, she stumbled upon encaustic and fell in love with its luminosity and tactile quality. Although encaustic is a painter's medium, Lorraine approaches the work more as a craftsperson in that she engages physically with her mark and image making materials. She sees a connection to the act of searing fabric and paper with the marks that age uses to shape the body. She incorporates time as an element in the work, allowing rust to stain the surface in unexpected ways. She finds uses for composting plant materials, horse and human hair between layers of wax, likening these organic materials to human skin or the atmosphere of the earth as seen and experienced from memory. Lorraine has been recognized for her innovative use of unconventional materials with wax. She has taught students how to use fibers in their own encaustic work since 2005 and has been excited to see how other artists have incorporated her concepts and processes into their own work. An ebook and online courses covering her techniques will be available in 2019. Artist, author, and international instructor Patricia Baldwin Sedgebrook is known worldwide for her impact on the medium of encaustic. In her 20 plus years working with wax, she has focused her energies toward making this difficult medium accessible to more artists while simultaneously pushing its boundaries in her own work. Following the publication of her first instructional book, she launched, launched a national teaching tour. While meeting artists across the United States and Canada, she was inspired to create a line of products designed to introduce encaustic painting to art educators, as well as to open up the medium to the craft market. As an instructor for Encaustico, she has created her own color line of paint. In 2010, Patricia founded Encaustic Camp, a week-long multi-level immersion experience that offers cutting-edge workshops and community-style studio learning for all skill levels. In 2013, she expanded the concept to Encaustic Camp International to include students in Australia, the South Pacific, and Europe. Following a two-year teaching commitment in Australia, Patricia moved back to the United States where she and her husband purchased an historic building in the heart of Lexington, Kentucky. She now hosts international guest instructors, a biennial artist residency, a new year wax emergent called Winter Wax, and quarterly art retreats. Patricia exhibits her work widely. It is represented by galleries across the United States and Australia. Her work is included in numerous private and corporate collections, including the City of Albany, Western Australia, and the University of Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky. Her work today spans several continents, five books published through Northlight Press, and instructional media created across all platforms, video, podcast, and IGTV broadcast. My visual language is inspired by how light perceived through pigment creates space and how perceptions of time can be retained through color. Often my subject is light revealed through a dialogue of changing transitions in color where small moments reveal the larger picture. Toward that end, I wrestle with the balance between exactly how much is necessary to fully develop a painting and exactly how much I can leave out. As a result, my paintings walk the fine line between the representational and the abstract. Nature has always had an influence in my work, but the concept of how to expand space through color has been a continuous theme. 
originally drawn to encaustic for its historical relevance, I now find meaning in the material as an environmentalist. Beeswax innately brings the state of our fragile environment into the discussion. Because it is an unconventional meaning, the work invites a sense of mystery. And because it's difficult to control, I am fascinated by the constant element of surprise. No other material encompasses nature as art so simply. Janice Ientema has dedicated her career to encaustic, working exclusively with this material for over 20 years. She is noted throughout Europe and the United Kingdom as one of the foremost contemporary artists working in wax, having had numerous solo shows in London, Amsterdam, and Brussels. Concerned with the alarming environmental implications affecting the bees, Janice lectures on the political global relations affecting farming in an effort to promote grassroots change while providing a future for beeswax and caustic art. Known internationally for her work as an artist, author, and educator, Michelle Belto has a former life as a performer. The relationship between her work in theater and dance are best described in her own words. My best work has always had components of image, story, and dance. As someone who has worked in theater as my first career, I've had to wrestle with the limits of the visual form. How was I to incorporate narrative in my work or to provide a sense of movement in what is basically a two-dimensional static image? My questions and my ensuing study led me to paper and wax as mediums of choice. Paper as an organic material is usable only after it has been transformed from grass into pulp, which becomes canvas. Wax in its molten state incorporates movement as an essential quality in both its application and its process. Michelle Belto is a full-time studio artist and international instructor. She authored a book and corresponding videos about her signature process in Wax and Paper Workshop, published through Northlight Press. And she has a national teaching schedule along with her role as instructor for encaustic and mixed media at Southwest School of Art. In 2015, she joined the team of core instructors at RNF Paints. Michelle has exhibited widely and her work is included in numerous private and corporate collections. She currently lives in the Texas Hill Country with her husband and a menagerie of furry creatures.